Oh, Mercury, finally found you. What in the fuck? Been driving for hours, but we finally tracked you down. We got you live and in living color. Can you answer just a couple of questions? Just a couple. All right. With the giant show, I Sucks Dicks, Big Dick Wrestling Universe, coming up September 1st and 2nd, 2012, you, of course, are known for being an international superstar, international traveler, facing wrestlers from all over the world. Who are you looking to fight at this thing? Well, you're right. It's no secret that I am an international superstar, okay? People around the world know Mercury. It's a household name. I'm pretty sure it's under a couple sinks, okay? We may break records. We could have a million people flying in for this show, but they're not coming to wrestle Daniel Makabe or Yakuza J. No, 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 no. They're coming to wrestle Mercury. Why else would they spend hundreds of dollars to come to our country to take me on? Because like you said, I am the international superstar. I live up to the name. So I have a bit of a list myself. It's a short list. As you can see, there's three names. I've been thinking about it last night, actually. It's a good thing you found me. I'm gonna say that only once, though, because I'm not really, I never look forward to seeing you guys. First on the list, I got Dangerous Dave Devereaux. Think about it. You were a tag team. We drove from St. Louis to Kentucky. We beat up some Kentucky kids. But here's my gripe with him, okay? We were this close to winning the administration on the backyard wrestling just for a week. It would have been cool though. We would have banned the shit out of Scott Henson. But no, what happened? Oh, you blew it, Danger Dave. Okay, what do you think of that? Mercury Danger Dave. Sick. Sick. Nah, sucks. What else you got? All right, how about this? How about this? Wrap your mind around this. Mike Quest. No one knows where he is these days, but I tracked him down. I tracked him down. I'm gonna bring him back to the forefront of professional wrestling. This man, another Matt technician, he can learn a lot from getting in the ring with someone like me. What do you think? I suck sticks. Mike Quest, Mercury. Stinks. What's your third guy? Okay, okay. Everyone knows who this guy is, and if you don't, well, then you must be under the age of like 16. You must be one of these new kids, okay? Matt, you shock. Everyone knows Matt Shock. This guy invented the whole, I'm gonna go over there and wrestle, and they're gonna come here and wrestle, and we're just gonna be doing this all the time. Yeah, this guy invented the whole concept of you guys coming to face me, okay? Matt Shock, Mercury, I suck sticks. Ah, oh, fuck that guy, Matt Shock's dead. How about, uh, how about Scott Henson? Ah, Scott Henson? Did you say Scott Henson? Do you not remember what Scott Henson did to me at the I Suck Sticks show 25? I think, you remember when he powerbombed me like five times, okay? I was dead. I was like clinically dead. I didn't have a heartbeat. I, my brain was shut off. But magically I survived. But you don't need to know why or how. I had a feeling that one day someone was gonna ask me if I wanted to face Scott Henson again. And you know what I say to that? No. Why? Because Scott Henson is a half man, half cat. How is a normal man like me supposed to take on this half man, half cat? You can't. What I got, I got something one better though. I got a full-on cat, a real legitimate cat, to face Scott Henson, to show him what it's like. The claws and the face and the fur and the mouth and the tail and the fucking eyes. You, excuse me, no. I'm a very important man, I'm taking phone calls.
Dramatization. Scott Henson will not actually wrestle a cat at Big Dick Wrestling Universe. Make sure you're not here.